fish, hot and possibly burning my fingers off from the smelter, and we've got another 10 bar! Yes! Okay, so let's go ahead and head inside. Hey Fletch, sorry I haven't been able to get you that river bass, I'm working on it. And let's craft ourselves some more nails, my friends, because I- okay, are you kidding me? Our pockets are too full, Fletch! I am trying to go ahead and build that permanent shop that you wanted! <laughs> All right, well, welcome back to Dinkum, everyone, or good day, as I should probably say, where we are diving in to talk with John to empty our pockets for just a second. Hopefully, he's going to want what we have to sell. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and sell that cooked meat. And then the sea scallop. Oh, and we have some of the new plants. That's right. I cannot wait to see what those do. And I have learned how to bury trees now, which I am very excited to try out in just a second. Let's go ahead and sell the quartz crystal, which looks expensive, but kind of isn't. That's sort of funny. Also, the toad skin, which is apparently a kind of poison. The stones, because, well, you know what? It takes a lot of effort to get the stones. And the jungle perch. And that should clean up some space in our pockets. <gasps> 4,000! Yes! All right, thank you very much, John. And now I should be able to go ahead and get these projects finished for the day, friends. Because we can wiggle over here. Wiggle over here. Make ourselves some nails so let's craft some nails the 10 bars are really hard to get so i'm gonna go ahead i do need oh sorry i'm bouncing all over the place a scythe interesting i wonder if that helps with the farming we're gonna have to see i do feel like we need some sort of protection after everything we've been through i'm thinking about maybe a spear i thought a bat would be fun but i haven't figured out how to get the resin and i kind of really want something that might defend me <laughs> um also i would love to get some crude fencing going but again i haven't figured out where the resin comes from just yet does it tell me uh, made from burnt spinifex tuft. So I need to figure out where the spinifex is. I think it's probably some sort of like, uh, probably some sort of plant. So I need to probably poke around there. And I do want to make a cooking table, which I need more palm wood and I need more tin sheets for. Uh, but to make a wooden crate, I'm going to need more palm wood too, but also nails. And doing the nails lets us- No! Time has passed! Time has passed and Fletch has left. So I was going to say now we could get some more of the licenses. But one of the things that catches me off guard is that time still passes even while you're just staring at the instructions and trying to figure out what to do. So no time like the present, I suppose. Alright, let's add the palm wood and the nails and... Yay! All the required materials have been done, and tomorrow we will hopefully have a new shop! Huzzah! 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 Well, let's go ahead and wrap up today by trying to complete some of our tasks, like collecting a few more seashells, and also trying to befriend our friends, which, um, hello, Rue, which include trying to catch a river bass. Ooh! which is the thing that our good friend Fletch really wants today. And also trying to catch a fly, which we were actually told could be found in pine forest. And I think these are pine forest, <laughs> or maybe these, which is a little bit, a little bit further than I, I feel safe to travel, to be honest. So maybe I'll have more luck with the river bass. Still figuring out the whole fishing thing. All right, we'll give this a little try. Okay, that's a crocodile back there. I don't want to catch him. As cool as that would be. Is there stuff? I feel like there's stuff under the water. Oh no, my curiosity is getting the best of me. You guys. Is it possible to swim under the water? Because it feels like there's something right there and I really want to get it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I really want to get out of the water now. <laughs> I thought I would be able to go ahead and just, like, climb out at any old spot. Oh, another toad skin! The toads are having a rough go of it, I think. Really wanting to build that fence along the riverside now, just to kind of give myself a little bit more 
little bit more crocodilian security. And I would like to figure out like what on earth I can use to make more of the torches. So maybe I could be a little more safe. So I think you have to like wait the fish out till it gets tired and then when it fights you oh no but then it can get away man oh and the moon is rising in the background it can be a little tricky to figure out what one must need to do to fish huh. well at least I can go ahead and collect enough of the seashells off the seashore to be useful for the day there we go is that a fish? I think it's a jellyfish, actually. Does a jellyfish bite the lure? Whoa! Okay, that was a really powerful fish. So, I think you just have to, like, wait. And then maybe one of them bites it. Come on. Okay, and then... Ah, man! I think it's kind of a waiting game, friends. You have to wait for the fish to bite. But then, once it bites... Ooh. Yeah, this is a strong fish. Ah, oh, okay. I will figure this out. I will figure this out because it's just so freaking awesome. Meanwhile... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that a fly? Ooh, it's a ta emerald dragonfly. Well, I'll take it. Better than nothing. Might as well just kind of like put her around. I got to figure out how to upgrade our tools because I can't cut down some of these things. But I can cut down stumps. And I can sell the wattle flowers and they regrow at least. We shouldn't waste any time after all. But to be honest, I also want to see what like John says about his new place tomorrow. So let's head back home. Hey Toad! Sorry that everything seems to be killing you, but apparently you're also poisonous. Which is an interesting development. Here we go. And I kind of feel like I should work on some of these rocks behind my house. Because they're very pretty. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I do feel like maybe I'm going to want this space for something in the future. And might as well go ahead and use up the energy while I got it before we go to sleep. Again, this is why my beloved husband Chips is always like trying really hard to work on my workaholic tendencies. We're getting there. We're getting there, friends. Alright, almost there. And now I have actually broken a tool, which seems to have done something interesting. Smashing! What are these things made of? Here's a milestone for breaking tools. <gasps> oh my gosh, and once we break like 50 tools, and then we get more milestones. Well, at least we have plenty of license points for Fletch next time. Fletch, I'm sorry I have let you down again on the whole getting you a river bass thing. I gotta work on the fishing. And I forgot to plant my stuff. Aw, oh, gosh darn. Well, we'll get there eventually. Maybe I just need to like level up my fishing with really, really easy little creatures. Ooh, we earned a lot of dinks today. Wheelbarrows! There's wheelbarrows? Oh my gosh, there's just so much to discover. I've heard all sorts of rumors about dozens and dozens of new tools. Look at this! Construction is up! Oh my gosh, this is so cool. We're doing it! I wonder what Fletch will have to say about that, because we worked really hard to like start making this thing possible. Thank you very much. I'm pretty proud about it. Alright, so let's go see what Fletch has to say now. Can I buy more licenses or maybe start another project? Hello there, Siri. What can I do for you? So, about the town maybe? Let's see. What about the deeds? Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to need to pay off the town's debt. But at least construction has started on the store, which I think is a good thing. Um, let's apply for some licenses real quick. So I still want to get farming going. Maybe I need to get a scythe in order to do that. And I'm kind of curious about this metal detecting. I don't know if that means John is going to start offering a metal detector because his shop seems pretty full. Uh, having chooks would be fun. Um, I feel like building to craft simple bridges would be really useful. <sighs> Where to begin? Hmm, landscaping. Landscaping seems weirdly important to me. 
Um, trapping to use animal traps would be kind of interesting. Okay, let's start with what could earn us more money? Maybe metal detecting. Because actually, you know what? We're really running into the problem of not having enough metal. So let's try to unlock this and see what becomes available. 2,000! Holds, uh, allows the holder to notice something buried, some buried items using sight alone. Okay, so now we can at least get a metal detector, which is useful. And then I guess we can go ahead and let's try the bridges. And we'll see if that unlocks anything new. Oh, now we can make a palm wood bridge and a hardwood bridge. And oh, thank goodness, a gumwood bridge. That's the one I was really curious about. And bricks, oh my gosh. <laughs> because like really like getting the palm wood has been proving to be a problem since the palm wood lives where the danger birds do. Let's see, so building windmills to help speed up production tasks. Okay, okay, so thank you, Fletch. Um, I guess, oh my gosh, people are donating other than us to the town, that's adorable. So I guess that John's shop is currently being built. He does not have a metal detector, but maybe when his shop is done, he will. Um, we need to get a new pickaxe. And I'm gonna sell this toad skin and all of these seashells by the seashore and some of these bugs. Hmm. There we go. I'll sell my cooked, my cooked fruit because why not? And then we'll try to take some dinks in and pay off like our, our debt that we have. All right, no, no, I didn't want to sell some goods. Oh, apparently I still have some <laughs> seashells that I could sell though. But John, I wanted to go ahead and ask him. So, how's your day? I wouldn't trade trading for anything. I mean, unless it was a really good deal. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. Okay, so let's see. Need anything? Oh, Siri, you have a logging license, right? Think you could help me out and rustle up three mangrove sticks? It would really help me out. Thanks, Siri. Okay, three mangrove sticks. How I'm gonna get those mangrove sticks is gonna be a little interesting, but I'm gonna do my best. All right, and oh, what's our interesting stuff today? Clear 13 grasses. Ooh, equipped, oh, from having more tools, sweet. And then we also have Savvy Shopper now from spending 10,000 dinks. So I think if we're gonna clear the grasses, we're gonna want a scythe. And that's actually something that's come up a couple times now is the scythe. Let's get some palm wood planks. Do I have any more palm wood? I don't. We're gonna need to go into danger zone, friends. That's just the long and short of it. Let's also talk to Fletch to see if she has any tasks we can do for her. I feel bad that we haven't been able to complete like one of her things. Oh, that reminds me, have you got any furniture you don't need anymore? If you've got any furniture you don't want anymore, be sure to bring it to me. I don't. Never hurts to ask. Oh my gosh, so if I ever turn her down, because I have a sleeping bag and I need that, is can can I do another task for her? Oh, dang it. Okay, so if you turn them down, then you don't get a do-over. Also, there's some Rupu. Okay, well, looks like despite my efforts, we are going to need more palm wood for sure. Um, so I am going to want to start like pushing deeper into up here. So I think we're going to want to make sure we have a bridge of some type. And was, oh my gosh, that's a great white shark. For real beans? Um, okay. Hey, can I catch him? Will he go ahead and like get on my fishing rod? Because that would be kind of funny. Oh no, but somebody else is coming to say hi. Okay, I've got to figure this fishing thing out because there's so many fish in the sea, including that very, very, very big fish. Aw, oh, dang it. And I've really got to figure out, like, how to catch these guys. Oh! Okay, so you can really, like, yeet this thing. Okay. I mean, that would really help with being able to, like, direct 
my my rod, do you have to like reel them in really if, when I go to reel them in, they like start destroying my rod. But I guess if I get close, will this fish notice? Okay, this fish notices. The other fish is kind of noticing too. A little nervous about that to be honest. Alright, come on. Oh man! What if I do this? You know, at least I know how to plant a tree now. And I will show you guys that accomplishment in just a minute. He's thinking about it. Dang it! Okay, I will figure out the fishing later. Let me go ahead and at least show you guys that I have indeed figured out how to plant things. Also, there's more Rupu. Well, I'll work with that later. Oh my gosh, I destroyed the soil! So this was supposed to be that green soil. Um, at least there's more Rupu. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, but anyway, that is a good way to kind of show it to you guys. So what you do is you dig a hole and then you go ahead and you bury into said hole some of the seeds that you have been collecting. So I can plant some of these guys that I have been hoarding. Uh, all right, so can I plant? So I think, hmm, so there's that, right? And then I tossed it in. There we go! Okay, so I'm still figuring out like all of the mechanics of it, but at least I've got the general idea right. And now I can go ahead and I can, I can plant some seeds. Okay, I've got to figure out, okay, that's my map. Oh! Oh, that's my little emotes! I didn't even know I had some cute little emotes. That's adorable. Uh, okay, and then, yeet. And then you drop the dirt back on it, which I never would have guessed, but ta-da! Now we've planted some things. Soil mover. Pick up some dirt and put it there. Here's a milestone for moving soil. Well, that's good at least. Okay, so all of that done. Oh, what's this? Nothing there. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and drop this in. That didn't drop where I wanted it to. And then awkwardly cover it back up. And yes! Okay, so I'm finally growing some of the plants around my house, which is what I always wanted to do. That makes me pretty happy. Can you actually, like, just bury it under any dirt? Or does it have to be... It can be on the edges! Oh, I wasn't sure if it had to be, like, specifically surrounded by dirt on all sides. That is not the case. Ta-da! Also, these are belly buttons! <gasps> Little wild plants! Oh, that's so fun! But alright, uh, I need palm trees in order to go ahead and actually make my scythe. So, let's see... Oh, you know what? Oh, and there's the shark again. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, hang up. I wanna figure out how does one build a bridge for, there's the palm wood and there's the gum wood. So we need nails, which means more metal and we need the gum wood planks. We have plenty of gum wood. So we need to go ahead and get our hands on more nails and uh, then we'll build ourselves a bridge and just see how far it can span. Oh, I think we might actually have some of the tools for that, but that's going to take me... Oops, okay, I almost made totally the wrong thing. Yeah, got to make a whole bunch of nails with that tin, and then I'm just going to need to spend a lot of time hanging out with this buzzsaw. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I'm going to get these all cut up, and then next time, let's see if we can build a bridge so that we can get safely over to the palm forest without dying. I think that's going to be a very exciting occasion, especially now that we have discovered the fact that there are indeed, uh, you know, some great white sharks too. But all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our continued adventures in potential survival here in Jasperberry Island. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.